it all started when I was in the fourth grade. This was the part in elementary school where we would go to football games to meet the other kids from the other elementary schools. Well, I would go with my friends and family more so just to have fun and hang out and eat food than actually watch the game. One time, there was this kid going around pointing and laughing at me. He was saying that I was weird because I was wearing a pair of Ugg boots. A little background on Uggs. Uggs were a boot that girls would wear in Mountain Brook, but boys didn't really. However, if you went to New York, San Francisco, major cities like that, you would see many grown men wearing them. But if you're a boy in Mountain Brook wearing them, you were weird. Now, I never really experienced this before, so the only thing I knew to do was to confront him. So I went up to him and said, just because I'm wearing a pair of Uggs doesn't make me weird. Now, after I yelled at him, he came up and apologized to me. I thought that was it. It was over. Man, I was wrong. The sad thing is because of experiences like this, I was terrified to start seventh grade at an entirely new school full of kids I didn't know and the possibility of getting made fun of. And sure enough, during the second week of school, it started again. I was at my locker getting my books for first period, and there was this group of guys standing right next to my locker talking. One of them had their backs to me, so they didn't know I was there. And they said, Blake is gay. Now, at this point, his friends told him to turn around, and I was standing right there, glaring at him. I slammed my locker and ran to the bathroom. My mind was racing with so many things. I was confused on why he said that, because I didn't even really know him, and I knew I wasn't gay, so I was confused on why he thought I was. Now, not knowing what to do, I just started crying. Later on that day, I went to the counselor and talked to her about everything that happened. She made me feel so much better. Now, that was really all that I experienced during seventh grade, except for maybe a few things my friends overheard, but nothing I heard directly. However, eighth grade was really bad for me. It all started in gym class. Now, I didn't focus on sports because I was really into performing arts because that's what I love to do. So I wasn't that athletic. Um, so it was always a pain for me to participate in PE. And it became a problem because people would make fun of me because I wouldn't be that great. Now, at first I would ignore it, but I knew eventually it was becoming such a big problem that I needed to get out of that class. So for the second semester, I would go to the counselor every day and talked to the counselor about what was going on during PE. And she eventually switched me out. Now, then there was this kid who was telling my friends that they should stop being friends with me. He said that I was gay and that they should stay away from me. Now, my friends told him to shut up and saying that they would never stop being friends with me no matter what and that I wasn't gay. He told them their gaydar was broken, which is just stupid. Then there was this other kid who's going around calling me a faggot. And then one time he said it to me. Then the bullying started getting a little physical. There's this guy on the football team who's kind of tall and big and popular or whatever. And every day, time I passed him in the hallway one day, he would ram into me. At first I thought, maybe it was just an accident. But then he rammed into me so hard one time that I fell and dropped all my books and he and all of his friends laughed at me. At this point, I was really sad, and I was on the verge of doing something I really would have regretted. However, I talked to my friends, my family, my math teacher, Ms. Cothy, and my counselor, Ms. Lancaster. This was so important to me because these are the people who got me through it. It is so important to talk about what is going on because I couldn't even imagine what would have happened to me if I didn't have these people. Now, bullying is such a big issue than people truly realize. Bullying is happening all over the world. Every day we hear or read about a new instance of bullying, yet we are numb to these stories because we feel like we've heard them millions of times. But every story matters. Can you tell me the name of at least one kid who has died at the result of bullying? Their name's forgotten. Their voice is gone. These victims felt like their voices were taken from them. 
They couldn't do anything to fix the rumors or lies that were being spread about them. So they took their own lives at a young age. How horrible is that? They were pushed so far, they thought their only way out was death. The fact of the matter is, here is how prevalent bullying is. Over 14% of high school students are either commit, have considered suicide and nearly 7% have committed it. That means if there are 1,200 students at Mountain Brook High School, that's 84 kids you see around Mountain Brook. 84 kids you see at the Western, at the Village, at Mountain Brook Creamery. 84 kids, lives, gone. Now think about that at every school around the world. Nearly 30% of students are either victims of bullying or have bullied people. That's over 400, 400 kids at Mountain Brook High School and over 160,000 kids stay home from school every day because of the fear of bullying. Nearly 4,400 people die because of bullying. That's more than cervical cancer. And in the National Victimization Survey of 2014, 64.5% of students reported being bullied twice in the year. That's 800 Mountain Brook students. And nearly 18.5% reported being bullied twice in the month. That's 216 Mountain Brook students. And 7.8% of students have been bullied every single day. That's 93 Mountain Brook students getting bullied every day. Ladies and gentlemen, Bullying is a disease infecting people's lives. What's most scary about bullying is not that it happens, but that it happens so often. It used to be that you would only get bullied at school, but now that we're connected through social media, people can't get away from it because they're connected to everyone else on sites like Ask.fm, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Vine, etc. Now here's how we stop it. If you're getting bullied and it's bothering you a lot, stand up to yourself or speak to someone about it. Letting it eat away at you will only make things worse. And the bullies feed off your sadness and how it makes you feel. That's what fuels them. Also, if you see someone getting bullied, stand up for them. Make the person who is getting bullied know that you care. The bully also feeds off the audience's reaction, so it's very important to make it clear that you're not interested in what the bully is doing and you do not think it's cool or right. Just as it is important for the bully to stand up, it is also important for those they speak out to, to listen. Now for all of you adults and leaders out there, listen to what the victims are saying and make them know that you care and do whatever you can to help them. This bullying is a lot different from the bullying back when y'all were kids. It's far worse and it's very serious and it needs to be stopped. Think about it. What if I hadn't spoken up? And what if those people hadn't listened? Thank you.